right, here we are at the offices of... Get Set. Get Set Games. I guess all the good names were taken. And uh, I'm here, of course, with Liana, who is going to be my interpreter because I don't speak geek. I am Lee 3 po Human Nerd Relations. And uh, the guy back there, who uh, eerily is wearing the same shirt as me, and it's creeping me out. What's your name? Matt Coom. All right, I'm not going to remember that. And uh, we're here to take a look at the new iPhone game, which is, what is it? Stormcasters. Storm, see, that's what I like. A little bit of oomph there, a little bit of excitement. You really need to sell this better. We're off to a great start. All right, let's go. Hey, what do you guys got in the fridge? What the hell? Whole wheat bread? Eggs? Fruit? Who works here, a bunch of old ladies? All right, Matt, what is Stormcasters? First and foremost, it's an arcade action game. So it's a dungeon uh, quest, but we've also combined uh, dual stick shooters with card collection as well. So the cards will actually affect how the game plays out. Wow, it's a, it's a nerd smorgasbord. Here's the introduction of the game. Basically, you get to choose which cards you're gonna play with on this round. You've got a deck of cards that you can collect in the game. Uh, and when you uh, start the game, you get to shuffle those cards and choose which cards to take into the game with you. Okay, so every time I go into a zone, I'm trying to get as far into the zone as I possibly can to destroy the monsters. Once you complete a zone, uh, it opens up the next one. Every zone has several floors in the dungeon. So basically, we're trying to get as deep into this dungeon as we possibly can. It's all about survival. It's all about pickups. You're trying to destroy as many enemies as you can because they're going to drop goodies and loot for you, including power-ups, extra uh, armor, extra health. By the way, the game's a bit antisocial, I notice. You walk into the room and immediately start shooting things. There's no attempt at conversation. This doesn't promote good social skills. There's a time-based element as well. You're not just trying to survive monsters trying to kick your ass, but you also have to do it in a certain time frame. That's right. So this really is an action arcade yeah. game. You know, you, you can recreate sort of the arcade game experience. What you can never recreate is that smell of the arcade. <laughs> Okay, so I am not a little boy with blue hair. I am a not so little girl with red hair. So can I make myself in the game? That's right, it's your lucky day. Um, what we've got is uh, character selection. So it's not uh, complete customizability, but at the start of the game, you could choose if you want to be a, a male or a female character. Um, and you, you'll uh, stay as that character throughout the game. As you level up, you actually get to progress through XP levels. And once you reach a certain level cap, then you can then evolve your player up to their next uh, uh, evolution level. So what if my character starts out as a guy and decides halfway through that he really was created as a girl? Can he change his gender? Sorry, Ed, no. We'll work on that for the sequel, though. No, you won't. Now, because this is a paid app, does it download on your phone completely and as is? You don't need an internet connection to play? Uh, that's right. Uh, the entire game will download. Uh, you don't have to be connected. You don't have to uh, join any social networks or, or sign in with anything. Just download the game and play. So that must have been a major design challenge, balancing all those factors. Hey, enough of that. You've been holding out on me there, Maddie. This is the room I want to be in. <laughs> Level up! We'll replace that bottle. 